look, it's another Mac mini, Apple's cheapest computer. And this time it has M2. It looks pretty much the same on the outside. It's a Mac mini. We got some specs. This is the eight gigabyte model, 256 gig storage, eight core CPU, 10 core GPU. It's not the pro one, which is actually kind of cool. That's a new product. The previous Mac mini did not have a pro. You had to go to the Mac studio, but ours, we spec it with 10 gig internet. So it's not here yet. This is a very form fitting box. Actually, I guess I should use the Apple thing. Hey, look at that. You wouldn't want to ship this without some extra foam because the box is not doing anything. It seems like an unnecessary piece of plastic. I'm not going to lie. Like, what are they protecting? Does this get scratched easily? Doesn't seem like it. All right. What else is in the box here? Propaganda, cable. I pity the person in the Apple factory who has to like assemble these paper things. Like, <laughs> this is awful. And that's it. No power brick. Wow, that's a big Apple sticker. Whoa, let's just upgrade this thing right now. Look at how much more Apple we're gonna have. Oh, oh, that's brutal. That's brutal. I'm sorry, that was not intentional. It's just so sticky. On the outside, we have a beautiful Apple sticker and logo on the front. Oh yeah, there's a little power LED there. Side, nothing. Other side, also nothing. But on the back, ooh, power button or power jack. One gig ethernet, you can also spec it with 10 if you want. Got two Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI, two USB-A ports, headphone jack, and a little cooling vent. If you upgrade to the Pro model, you get four Thunderbolt ports like the Mac Studio. Um, but other than that, it's the same I.O. as last time. I think it's HDMI 2.1 now, so we're gonna have to try that later with the TV over there. Um, the specs page was not super clear about that. It doesn't say HDMI 2.1, but it does say you can do 4K, I think 144? No, 4K 240, I thought it said. And 8K 60 at the very least. It's not like rubbery at all. So it doesn't, doesn't keep it in place. You know, like you could curl with this thing. It's very sleek. I think the top is actually, oh yeah, yeah. It's got, it's got more friction on the top than the bottom. It's really bad. It's like, it's even got bubbles underneath it. I'm usually the kind of guy that leaves it to troll you, but it's actually bugging me at this point, so I'm gonna, oh, so much better. In terms of the internal specs, of course, the CPU is an M2 instead of an M1. Uh, you can go up to 24 gigs of RAM instead of 16. You do get the nice ProRes encode and decode engine on the M2. Uh, the max storage is still two terabytes on the non-pro, but if you go up to the M2 Pro version, you can go up to a 12 core CPU or 19 core GPU. You get 200 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth instead of 100. You can do up to 32 gigs of RAM and up to eight terabytes of storage. Any of the models can be spec with 10 gig internet on the standard port, or you can use a dongle with the Thunderbolt that works too. Other than that, pretty much the same. I guess we should turn it off. But not before I tell you about our sponsor, Secret Lab. Their chairs are designed to keep you comfortable for those long nights of work and play. And their Titan Evo 2022 series chair offers four-way lumbar support, comes with a magnetic memory foam head pillow, and is offered in different upholsteries like hybrid leatherette, soft weave fabric, and Napa leather. Best of all, a five-year extended warranty is included along with a 49-day return policy. So you're covered if anything goes wrong. Head to the link down in the description to check out Secret Lab today. The cool thing about the Pro one, which we haven't gotten yet, is it has the same I.O. as the Mac Studio. And that was like kind of one of their things. It's got so much connectivity. This one has two ports, but the Pro has four, and that's that's the same. One thing I would say about these, it would be cool the if voice Apple- voiceover quick start. Voiceover speaks descriptions of items on the screen. It would be cool. <laughs> it would be cool if Apple added like two Type-C ports to the front. Like not everyone wants to plug everything in the back, especially if you're charging your mouse from the bottom of the mouse. Ah, something else I didn't mention. This Mac mini has Wi-Fi 6E, which can do like above gigabit speeds. So despite the ethernet port being gigabit, you can do like 1.5 gig on the Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi might actually be faster than ethernet on this particular one. Maybe I should charge the this. No, Andrew, it looks fucking stupid. Hi, Apple. It's fucking stupid. It's so stupid. Slight correction, the studio does technically have more IO. It has two Thunderbolts on the front and an SD card reader. So there, there's a little bit more, which is what they should do on this thing. But then how would they sell the studio? <laughs> All right, the first thing I wanna see is this Wi-Fi 6E. Is it fast? Is it, is it truly, brutally fast? We don't have any Wi-Fi 6E devices connected. So theoretically, this should be very fast. Wow, truly astonishing. Not, not that fast. I mean, the AP is like pretty far. It's in the ceiling, probably 20 feet away. 700 megabits, pretty good for Wi-Fi. Okay, so Wi-Fi 6E, pretty sick. 
I, I think if you had your AP closer, you could do even better. I personally have tested Wi-Fi 6E at like one and a half gigabit, which is double even what we had here, so. It's fast though, I like that they're including it. I hope the new iPhone has it too. It's fine, it's, you know, one and a half gigabytes a second both ways, it's fine. To go to the 512 gig that would be faster, you're looking at, you know, an extra $200. So for the price, it's not bad. Let's try Passmark. Yeah, so it's like 6.8, 6.9%. I mean, there's a lot less samples, but I mean, for for one year, 7%, it's not bad. What, did, what score did we get? 16,000, wow. The thing to consider is that this M2 chip is gonna be in a bunch of different devices. So a bunch of the samples for this could have been done in a like a MacBook Air that doesn't have additional cooling and that could hurt. What I'm curious about is if this thing thermal throttles, maybe just testing. Endurance, I think this is the one. Yeah, this one, okay, cool. I believe this is made by the same guy. Yeah, it's made by the same guy that makes TG Pro, which is a really great app for monitoring your Mac. You can see all the different statistics. We do have a license. Don't worry, we bought many. He also gave us some, but I don't want to type in the server credentials, so I'm just gonna use the trial. Don't get mad at me, I love you. This is obviously not a super realistic test because it is just cranking the CPU at 100%, but it will be interesting to see if it does throttle. And we're only at 60 degrees. I suspect that this will not throttle easily. It's still at the minimum 1700 RPM speed. Doesn't really seem like it's getting any hotter, which is great. So you're at least getting the full fat performance out of this M2 chip. I mean, it's an efficient chip, we knew that, but great, cool. I wanna know if it has a speaker. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, it does have a speaker. Maybe it's just bad when it's facing at you. <laughs> so let's, let's try to be a little more realistic about how this would be set up if this was on my desk. So it's over there. There would be a wall behind me probably in the real world, but we're just gonna ignore that part. It sounds pretty tingy so far. It's maxed out. It's like serviceable. I think if all you were trying to do is not play music, you just need to do like a video call. <laughs> Anything that's not music <laughs> it would be okay. What about like what about like Linus talking? Oh, this is short circuit. Yeah, well, yeah, but you don't want to watch short circuit. Let me get this straight. This is a computer. I'm a computer. <laughs> It's pretty tingy. Now, what I'm curious about is, is my iPhone better or worse? Well, MacBooks, okay, Apple laptops, MacBooks, way better for sure. I'm pretty sure the iPhone sounds better. It's not great. Um, do, do Apple monitors have speakers in them? Because I mean, this obviously doesn't have a monitor. You're gonna need to buy a monitor. That's part of why it's so cheap. But if all the Apple monitors have speakers and they're like decent, then I guess it's less of a less of a concern. Either way, integrated speakers, worse than an iPhone. Um, not by much, but a little bit worse, I would say. Headphones, AirPods. You can use AirPods, AirPods are great. Should we take it apart now? Okay, look at this computer. How do we do this? Does anybody know? Bellavance. Definitely, whoa. Cool, that was really easy to get off actually. Oh, there's little like rubber thingies that sit on the screws, okay. That seems pretty serviceable so far. There's a little screw holding the Wi-Fi connector on. It's very common for people to take their devices apart and just rip the Wi-Fi antenna out. So it's very good that they put that there. Okay, I got it off and I didn't break it. Hey, this is so cute. I mean, in terms of serviceability, this the little presumably BIOS batteries right there. This has gotta be the power supply over here. Wow, it's so smart. Okay, look at this. See how it's at an angle? This part is at an angle. It's so, you can get a screwdriver in there, a normal screwdriver. And you don't need like a really short custom like stubby one that would fit straight. It's at an angle. I mean, I don't know about genius, it's just <laughs> reasonably smart. I refuse to acknowledge it. This is such a, there's like nothing in here. Why don't they make this thing smaller? <laughs> it's, it's like half, it's half empty. Actor, I don't know how to take off. Right Man, they are vibing with those dumpsters. Your mama's a dumpster. <laughs> That was pretty brutal, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mama, he said you're a dumpster. See? Cool. Pretty sure this part just like kind of vibes off. Hey, there we go. Okay. Wow. So there's the chassis with the power supply. Nice little integrated unit. I don't know how to take that part out. Um, oh yeah, there's a screw right there. It's probably not that hard, but I don't need to do that. 
think the power supply can just chill in there. And then this is the actual board. Oh, there's the speaker. <laughs> That's why it sounds like garbage. It's inside. It would fire almost entirely up into the metal. <laughs> But there is little vents here, so that's the only place you're getting the audio from. That would explain why it's kind of crap. That's probably storage right there. Do I dare take the heatsink off? Well, I'm not. I'm not worried about it. I'm just. There's a lot of little things on the back of this board you could very easily knock off. This whole thing, this fascia piece, is connected here. So taking it off means the whole back thing is just vibing now. Oh, okay, well that's not that bad. Hey, heatsink. Little tiny processor. It's kind of interesting that it's like half of an IHS. It's like cut and then they have the memory solder to it. It's very cute. Um, I'm going to reuse the stock thermal paste so that it's not really like altered characteristics. Hey, it's back together. Look at that. It's a Mac mini. Now to talk pricing, this particular one with eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigs of storage is $599, which is Apple's cheapest computer. It's almost half the price of an iPhone 14 Pro. If you wanna upgrade the storage or the CPU or anything else, it starts to add up very quickly. <laughs> like I said before, it's $200 to go to the 512 version, so that's $799. And if you go to the Pro, which has a 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU, 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gig SSD, $12.99. But you do also get two extra Thunderbolt ports on the back. If you're in the market for a small computer from Apple and you don't wanna spend a lot of money, this is a great option. If you like this video, like it, get subscribed. If you wanna see other Apple content, maybe check out the M2 laptops that Alex just did. Um, they are also pretty cool.